Hi everybody, I am T.U. James, PGT English at JLB Kalaburugi to Karnataka. At the outset, let me share with you my joy on the occasion of the third anniversary of NEP 2020. We know that the world is undergoing and witnessing rapid and unprecedented changes in the area of education in knowledge landscape and in academic ecosystem the world over. And India being an emerging power cannot be left behind. So naturally we have become a part of these changes that the world is witnessing. Actually the salient features, some of the salient features of NEP 2020 which attracted me are its multidisciplinary methods, the involvement of local community, inclusive education, and experiential learning. Now, the goal four of SDG, that is Sustainable Development Goals, underlines and underscores the importance of inclusive and equitable education. Keeping the true spirit of NEP 2020, I gave a project to my third standard students as part of their English syllabus. Usually when a project is given, the way it is to be done is taken for granted. Children jokingly call it BCP, Browse, Copy, Paste. But I wanted to impress upon them the need for following the principles of NEP, particularly three features, that is multidisciplinary methods, experiential learning and involvement of local community. So, a social survey was given. They had to identify minimum 20 households in their immediate neighborhoods. And they had to go there, visit the households physically and serve a questionnaire to them and get answers to those questions. The questions actually included questions like how many school going children are there in the family? How many dropouts are there? Okay. In what type of house they are living in? Uh, how many employed members are there in the family? Etc. The very purpose was to find out the living conditions of the people and their economic uh, status. So surprisingly, the feedback was really very really motivating and reassuring. Children said that they enjoy doing the project. They went to the households, they served the questionnaire, they got the answers, they got the replies, and they analyzed the uh, data. See here, what we see is they learned through their experience, experience, so experiential learning is involved, and it was multidisciplinary here, collecting data, analyzing it, going to the households, interacting with them. So here sociology is involved, mathematics is involved, uh, even you know, accountancy is involved. So here multidisciplinary method is involved. And they also learned the different stages of conducting a survey like identifying the target group, also designing the questionnaire, again analyzing the data, collecting data, analyzing data and presenting data graphically. So in short, I would say that for me as a practicing teacher, I am reaping rich dividends of NEP 2020 and I am committed to implementing it in my classroom transactions in the days to come. Thank you.